Hello and welcome my homing zebras, how you doing today? It's Chris, we're playing the Iron Challenge for the Northerners Outpost. We only got two towers to work with, the Furnace and the Infernal Mage. But we do end up getting two extra little, uh, three, excuse me, three extra little barracks guys over here, which are going to maybe help. I'm for sure going to get these three, one, two, three. But I'm not sure if I want to end up uh, spending the money on these other guys, because if we, if we, if they die, uh, it, they're worthless. So basically, we've got wyverns, huntresses, and wildlings, and the huntresses are the things that I'm worried about the most. On this side, we've got the wyvern, the wolf, and the northern wildling. So uh, they're also going to be fairly difficult for us to deal with. I think the best way to do this is we are going to go for a quick furnace over here, pretty Something decently level. Hell's kitchen. And then we're going to get an infernal mage here, here. And uh, eventually we'll get one here. But uh, let's get started, man. Uh, we're going to get three Infernal Mages. We're going to get them all the way up to fourth tier for sure. Uh, and hope that that's enough to take care of all of those flying units and everything. The weird thing about this level is definitely that I use my furnaces in sort of the same way as I use my Infernal Mages. So this is going to be a little rough for me for sure. Um, here we go. We gotta make sure she's actually shooting peeps. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, girl. Shoot it! We want you to shoot for it. So we're gonna poison. Big chunk of these guys are already dying. And what we're hoping to do here is basically the soul crusher. This is kind of terrible. We're gonna block these guys in just a little bit. We're gonna use the soul crusher. Boom, boom, boom. The nice thing about the soul crusher is the more guys you kill, the faster it comes back. So we're going to go for this higher level furnace, like I was saying. And look at this guy, trying to sneak through my defense. Ain't going to allow it. Not today. Well, hopefully never, never, ever, ever. Hopefully never, ever, ever, ever. Okay. You see how much damage the furnace is doing, though. It is nice. But keep in mind, once we get these flying units coming in, it's going to be pretty terrible. It's going to do literally nothing over there. Indubitably. So, uh, next thing on the agenda is definitely to get our magic upgraded, guys. Um, we're thinking about a big poison right here, big juicy poison. Once we get that extra money, we buy some extra mage action. And uh, I don't think we're just going to go fourth here one at a time. Um, I know I bought two of them. I was planning on getting all three, but I, it's a bad idea. It's just wasting money. It's not waste money. We're not in the business of wasting money. We're in the business of making money and killing everything. Is that weird business to be in? <laughs> the business of killing, killing everything? <laughs> I think it's at least a little bit weird, at the very least. All right, um, it's hard to line people up because they're coming out so consistently, you know. If I do end up using my reinforcements, I end up using it sort of near the back over here and not near the front like you usually want to, or at least in the front to pile people up or something like that. Though Azra is in like the literally perfect spot, everybody's coming towards the right over here. Nobody's coming down the bottom right now, so. Uh, no matter what, all we gotta do is just leave her there and just let everything unfold. Alright, luckily, all three of my, uh, troll axe hunters are gonna survive right now. And here we go, we got the first flying units coming in here. Wonderful. So, Azri, you gotta get on top of that for sure. Any flying units, gotta take them down. We get our first fourth tier mage. Here we go, we got more flying units coming in over here. We're gonna move Azra over here real quick. Let her take him down. These guys are reasonably tanky. They're not as easy as those Cyclopters uh, from the, the first area. Especially on Impossible. But you're noticing how the trolls haven't really been very helpful almost at all. Um, if I got them here or here. I don't think they'd do just about anything. I think they would actually be uh, almost a negative aspect to my team. I've been wasting money on something that's really not going to do very much at all. I don't think that they would be very good to stall the wolves either. Uh, they'd be okay, and if you do something perfectly with a, uh, uh, you know, a perfect furnace, high level, maybe even support with your hero or something like that, like sure, then it can work Darn out. So we got two, uh, we got the wyvern and a couple guys kind of lined up right here. So we're gonna move them on over. Luckily, we got that uh, Tesla coil Darkness over there, man. Every once in a while, it's not that bad to have around. All right, so we're gonna go for the mage over here. We got a big chunk of guys, so we got a soul crusher. Boom, 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 boom. Though I didn't kill as many as I thought. Hmm, sad. Sad days. Alright, we got Huntresses coming in here too. We got a poison all ready to go. We got too many guys right here not to poison it. 
As we're gonna move her back just a little bit, just a little bit, wee bit. Light my fire. All right, everybody's dying here, albeit slowly. Um, I am a little afraid of these huntresses, so we're gonna pop some reinforcements on top of them. Um, I don't want my any of my trolls to die. That's the basic plan here. If any of my trolls die, I'm doomed. So let's not let them die. If we gotta move them, we gotta move them. All right, let's move them real quick. Uh, if we get a big bundle of them, we might be able to poison here, but that's a good enough bundle for me. It's a good enough bundle. Yeah, yeah, soon. And now we're getting to the point where uh, our mage towers can actually kill these guys in one or two hits. If they have only got uh, 150 health, so they got a chance to kill them in one hit, but it's it's a pretty unlikely chance. So now we're actually rolling around in the money, so we can get a nice furnace over here as well to help group damage every single one of these guys coming in. You can see how much group damage we can do over here. We might be in the mood for a troll pretty soon. Uh... There we go, I'm gonna... You know what, I'm gonna use the soul crushes at the end. I'm surprised there's not more flying guys coming in. Really? That was a weird ending. I felt like it wasn't a difficult ending. Very interesting. Okay, that was the heroic challenge here, guys. So mostly mages in the back. I like the furnaces in the front. Uh, a fourth tier on the bottom seemed to work out pretty well against the grouped guys just to kind of clean them up a little bit. The biggest issue is definitely the flying units over here. Uh, to deal with the flying units, you got to have your hero ready to kill them. And if you need to rely on those testicles a little bit, because there's only one every once in a while. And those testicles do recharge eh, reasonably fast. Not super fast, but reasonably fast. So you can end up taking down a few of those guys every once in a while. Uh, but of course, as usual, if you guys enjoyed, press the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.